Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details, and I am really excited to be doing a product demonstration for you. This is Cerakote Ceramic Headlight. For any of you who follow the channel, you know how much I'm a fan of Cerakote Trim Coat. It's a fantastic way to restore and ceramic coat your exterior trim. Two products, one step. Uh, good up to 200 washes. I've had mine on my Subaru Outback since last fall and it's still going strong and I wash my vehicle probably weekly um, Anywhere from you know going through an, an automatic touchless car wash in the winter time uh, A rinseless, you know soap contact wash and it's holding up fantastic It's not showing any signs of weakening. So I'm really excited to be trying this product out This is actually my brother brother-in-law vehicle and um, I've been waiting for kind of the right vehicle to test this out on. They just purchased this. It's new to them, but it's used. Uh, 2014, I believe, CX-9. And the headlights are in a little bit of rough shape. So I want to first and foremost draw your attention to this Q&R code right here. Fantastic. If you purchase this, I think it's around $25 a kit on their website. One kit will do one set of headlights. You know, front and back, I believe, it, it's just going to do the, the front, not the back. But if you scan this Q&R uh, code, it will take you right to a video on how-to instructions. So once you open it up, you can see here, again, instructions. They're showing you the trim coat as well that they have available. So step-by-step -step instructions, very user-friendly. They uh, basically are pre-moistened wipes. And this is my first time using it, so let me just kind of show you. All right, so first and foremost, they send you uh, some sandpaper. There's two grits here, as well as a Velcro back holder for them. So you can see here we've got our red, which is our more aggressive grit sandpaper. It's 2,000 grit. And then we've got our gray, which is our, I would equivalent that to a 3,000 grit. It's got a little bit more. Uh, it's got the Velcro back, so it's going to fix itself to this really great. It's soft. I wouldn't say conformable, so when you come into these tighter areas here, they do recommend that you take these off of the, the device and kind of use it by hand. But first and foremost, they want you to do the oxidation remover. There's four wipes per headlight, and they want you to use all four, and if you're not done getting the yellowing off by the fourth one, that's okay because the sanding steps will kind of take it off. And then you've got your ceramic clear coat step three that you apply and from the videos that i've seen reviews that i've seen and they also provide two sets of gloves for each set but i've got my own so we're good all right so what we're going to do first and foremost is i'm going to tape off this headlight right here i've got the engine hood popped so that way i can get into this area a little bit easier you can use just normal 3m painters tape but you want to protect your paint, especially if you're ever doing any sort of wet sanding. Um, just take my word for it. It's not worth having to pay the customer to fix the uh, paint damage that you're doing to it. So just take the extra time, tape it off. This is a super fast job, so it's going to be a lot of choppy pieces. So you can see, I'm going to just bring you in close up, show you the condition of these headlights beforehand. The left is just as bad as the right. We've got a lot of yellowing oxidation. I'm going to actually show you a picture of what the lights look like when they're on. We've done the right side. I'm going to show you how I got these results. You saw the before, here's how we get that. Zero tools required. Anyone can really do this in the convenience of their garage. I would say do it out of direct sunlight. It's just gonna make your life a little bit easier, but we're gonna break it down step by step. I'm gonna show you just how easy this is. All right, is. so step one, we've washed, dried the headlight. I even clayed it to remove any sort of bug splatter. We've got our oxidation remover towelettes. We're just gonna come in here 
because we've got everything taped off, I don't have to worry about the solution getting on the paint. If it does, they say wipe it right off. In the videos, they say this is kind of where the magic happens. The yellowing kind of melts off. You can see here. I know that there are some guys that will say, you know, for a quick and easy way to do this, use bug spray. And I wouldn't recommend that because the chemical within that actually can start to melt the plastic on your headlights. And what happens is they're going to get foggy or faster. So you're just kind of uh, not only putting a band-aid on something that needs, you know, stitches or surgery on, but you're going to actually make it worse for yourself in the future. So I don't recommend that you use bug spray. You can see towel two, we're still getting yellow off. Now, personally, I would say if your tail lights are pretty bad, there is enough solution in these that you could use the oxidation remover on the, the rear tail lights. And there's possibly enough ceramic coating uh, in the towelettes to do your rear. So the kit claims to do, you know, front head, um, front uh, headlights only, but I would say that there's enough solution in these pre-moistened wipes that you could do, uh, you know, all four of your lights if they need to be done. It might, these might dry out near the tail end. So just, you know, know that that's not what it was necessarily designed for, but it could work. The solution itself is like a little yellow. So it's not 100% to be able to say, you know, but the it's still getting yellowing up. So I just have here a Kirkland microfiber a bottle of spray water, we're just going to come in here, kind of wipe this off. You want to get all that solution off. Alright, so we have our 2000 grit sanding paper. We're going to fix it to the backing plate first. You want to wet this. And wet your headlight and keep it wet while you're doing this step. Now you'll you'll notice kind of like the stuff that's coming off of it is yellow. There's still oxidation. There's still yellowing on here. This is kind of like slurry. You don't want to be super aggressive. You don't want to gouge the plastic. But you definitely want to uh, get that kind of dead plastic off. We're going to go ahead just do the rest by hand. And just know you're going to make a little bit of a mess. You're going to have some drips. You can clean it up at the end. So if you're doing a ceramic coating like I am, I'm doing this before I polish, before I ceramic coat, so that I don't have any sort of um, slurry dripping down the paint causing problems. And this is why I said to tape because in these tighter areas, you run the risk of sanding the, the paint and scratching it. So if you tape it, you're going to kind of prevent that from happening. And you can kind of, if you come in here, you'll kind of be able to gauge where you need to sand still. You want a consistent finish. Alright, so I would say that's good enough. We're going to go ahead, wipe this off, 
kind of inspect our work. All right, so you can see here, I didn't go quite as deep. We're just gonna go over that one, one more time. Don't press hard, just light touches. All right, that's good. All right, so you can see we've got a foggy lens. Don't worry, we're not gonna leave it that way. I know a lot of you, that would freak you out. If you saw your lens like that, you're thinking, looks worse before, you know, after than it did before. I'd rather have that. Just hang in with me. This is our next step. This essentially is going after those sanding marks that you just created. This is gonna smooth it out. So what I like to say, say to people, however long your first step was, your second step needs to exceed the first step because it's gonna take that much longer to kind of take the sanding marks out. So don't think that wet sanding is like a 30 second process. Sometimes it can take you a half an hour per headlight. There are some people that will wet sand and they'll start at 800 grit, work their way up all the way to 1500 grit and then do 2K clear coat. And then there's others that go from 800 grit all the way up to 5,000 grit. And then they just polish and strain a coat or put some sort of sealant down. And there's a bunch of different ways to do it. But when you're sanding, typically, you're going to have to have a polisher to remove the sanding marks. So with this system, you don't need the DA. You don't need the rotary. But this is where this step right here is, in my opinion, the most crucial because you want to get your sanding marks out as much as possible. Let's dry it off and see what kind of results we have. We're going to remove our tape. Because this next step, you want to get it as dry as possible. So what we're going to do is get my blower and blow it off. Alright, so here's our last step. You can see We've got, you know, a nice uniform finish. There's a couple areas where I didn't want to go super heavy, but essentially everything looks fine. We've got our step three, ceramic clear coating. Open up your towelette. You want to overlap your passes, go in straight lines. Overlap your passes by 50%. And just like that, we have ceramic coated our taillights, or gosh, headlights. If you get any on the paint, just kind of come in here. All right, so let me pull you in close so you guys can see up close the finished results. You can see just how fantastic both of them look. If we come down here, you can see we've got optical clarity let me actually turn the lights on so you can see what they look like with the lights on. So night and day transformation. We went from not being able to see at all to having clear headlights. All right guys, so there you have it. You can see we've got fantastic clarity through our headlights. There really is no reason why anybody should be driving around with unsafe headlights. When you've got products like this, absolutely zero tools required. Honestly, I would say zero skills required. It, it's all provided between the oxidation remover, the sandpaper, the backing plate, 
the you know the only thing they don't provide is water and a towel other than that everything is here three easy steps you're basically ready to go in an hour just don't get it wet or drive it for 60 minutes after that you should be good to go you don't even have to buff it off just let it sit and it will look like this when it is all said and done so for any of you wanting to restore your own headlights I will put the link for this product down below make sure you actually check out all of Cerakote's products they have a their Cerakote trim coat which is fantastic for restoring trim and then also now the ceramic headlight restoration kit uh, whoever is behind the making of these products is is a genius so thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below but we'll see you guys in the next video have a great day bye